overrated Western movies. Today I'm going to cause some trouble. I did a video on underrated Western videos. If you haven't seen it, you can find the link in my channel in the description. Today I have gone in the opposite direction. Overrated Western movies. I'm sure I will get some comments agreeing and disagreeing, as well as some that are missing. I'll keep this list to 10 movies, with the aim to make another updated version later, Sudden mostly based contest. on your comments. What determines if a movie is overrated? I have researched across the internet from various sources. It's not an easy list to make. Of course, it's a subjective point of view. I know this list is going to start some heated opinion-driven discussion. I've made a decision to keep Spaghetti Westerns out of this list. I think I'll do another video on that subject. There will be some runner-ups for this list as well. Check them out at the end of the video. Let's have some fun and check out this list. Django Unchained, 2012. Set in the Old West and South. A highly stylized, heavily revisionist tribute to Spaghetti Westerns. The story follows a black slave who trains under a German bounty hunter with the ultimate goal of reuniting with his slave wife. Director, Quentin Tarantino. Stars, Jamie Foxx, Christopher Waltz, Leonardo DiCaprio and Kerry Washington. The Hateful Eight, 2015. Praised for its direction, screenplay, score, cinematography and performances. Though the depictions of race relations and the violent treatment of Lee's character now, divided opinions. For his work on the score, Morricone won his only Academy Award for Best Original and Score lie, after his five previous nominations. Walk. In the dead of Wyoming winter, a bounty hunter and his prisoner find shelter in a cabin currently inhabited by a collection of nefarious characters. Director, Quentin Tarantino. Stars, Samuel L. Jackson, Kurt Russell, Jennifer Jason Lee. Walton Goggins. The Revenant, 2015. A frontiersman on a fur trading expedition in the 1820s fights for survival after being mauled by a bear and left for dead by members of his own group. An American epic western survival adventure. Michael Punk's 2002 novel, The Revenant, which describes frontiersman Hugh Glass's experience in 1823. The film is also considered a remake of the film Man in the Wilderness, 1971. Director Alejandro G. Inaritu. Stars Leonardo DiCaprio, Tom Hardy, Will Poulter, Domhnall Gleeson. Bone Tomahawk, 2015. A Western cannibal abducted. horror film written and directed by S. Craig Saylor in his directorial debut. The film is about a small town sheriff who leads a posse into a desolate region to rescue three people who were abducted by a cannibalistic Native American cave-dwelling clan. Director, S. Craig Zaylor. Stars, Kurt Russell, Patrick Wilson, Matthew Fox, Richard Jenkins. A Million Ways to Die in the West, 2014. A Western dark comedy film. The film follows a cowardly frontiersman who gained courage with the help of a female gunfighter. Oh, and must use his newfound this. skills oh, in a confrontation oh, oh. with her villainous oh, outlaw yes. husband. Okay. Hey, Director, Seth MacFarlane. Stars, Don't Seth MacFarlane, Charlize Theron, Liam Neeson, Amanda Seyfried. <laughs> Holy shit. You all, you all done? The Quick and the Dead, 1995. A revisionist Western film. The story focuses on the lady, Stone, a gunfighter who rides into the frontier town of Redemption, controlled by John Herod Hackman. The lady joins a deadly dueling competition in an attempt to extract revenge for her father's death. Director, Sam Raimi. Stars, Sharon Stone, Gene Hackman, Russell Crowe, Leonardo DiCaprio. The Ridiculous Six, 2015. A Western action comedy film, as Happy Madison's production's first Western film. The plot surrounds an outlaw who was raised by Native Americans and discovers that he has five half-brothers. The six men discover that they share the same bank-robbing father, Nick Nolte, and set out to find and reunite with their wayward deadbeat dad. Director, Frank Karachi. Stars, 
Adam Sandler, Terry Crews, Jorge Garcia, Taylor Lautner. High Plains Drifter, 1973. A Western film directed by Clint Eastwood. A gunfighting stranger, Eastwood, comes to a small settlement of Lego and is hired to bring the townsfolk together in an attempt to hold off three outlaws who are on their way. The film was shot on location on the shores of Mono Lake, California. The film was critically acclaimed at the time of its initial release and remains popular. Director, Clint Eastwood. Stars, Clint Eastwood, Verna Bloom, Mariana Hill, Mitchell Ryan. The Outlaw Josie Wales, 1976. A revisionist Western film set during and after the American Civil War. The film tells the story of Josie Wales, a Missouri farmer whose family was killed by Union militants during the Civil War. Seeking revenge, Wells joins a Confederate guerrilla band and makes a name for himself as a gunfighter. After the war, all the fighters in Wells' group except for him surrender to Union officers but end up getting massacred. Wells becoming an outlaw is pursued by bounty hunters and Union soldiers as he tries to make a new life for himself. Director, Clint Eastwood. Stars, Clint Eastwood, Sondra Locke, Chief Dan George, Bill McKinney. Cowboys and Aliens, 2011. A science fiction western action film based on the 2006 Platinum Studio graphic novel of the same name created by Scott Mitchell Rosenberg. The story centres around an amnesiac outlaw, Daniel Craig, a wealthy cattleman, Harrison Ford, and a mysterious traveller, Olivia Wilde, who come together to save townspeople abducted by aliens. A spacecraft arrives in Arizona, 1873, to take over Earth starting with the Wild West region. A posse of cowboys and natives are all that stand in their way. Director, John Favreau. Stars, Daniel Craig, Harrison Ford, Olivia Wilde, Abigail Spencer. Okay, so here are a few runner-ups that just missed out on this list, but may make the next, including some spaghetti westerns. Heaven's Gate, 1980. During the Johnson County War in 1890 Wyoming, a sheriff born into wealth does his best to protect immigrant farmers from rich cattle interests. My Name is Nobody, 1973. A young, easygoing gunman worships and competes with an older gunfighter who only wants to retire. A Fistful of Dynamite, 1971. A low-life bandit and an IRA explosive expert rebel against the government and become heroes of the Mexican Revolution. The Great Silence, 1968. A mute gunfighter defends a young widow and a group of outlaws against a gang of bounty killers in the winter of 1898, and a grim, tense struggle unfolds. Paint Your Wagon, 1969. Two unlikely prospector partners share the same wife in a California gold rush mining town. I hope you like this video on overrated westerns. I'm sure you'll let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you'd like to see some of my many other videos, please check the link in the description to go to my channel. Thanks for your time today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate likes, shares and subscribers. Drop me your comments. Bye for now.